On today's episode of Wangle's Workshop, I'll be taking this old broken file and I'll turn it into a sheep's foot knife and a matching little pry bar slash scraper. So the first thing I'll do is anneal the file. And the way I'll do this is by putting it in the forge and heating it up until it's critical or non-magnetic. And then I will let it air cool. This will soften the steel and allow me to drill holes in it and work with it easier. Now using an angle grinder, I will cut the tang of the file off and then I'll jump on my 2x72 grinder and start profiling the knife. Once I'm done profiling the knife, I'll go ahead and mark out my pin holes and my weight reduction holes. I'll center punch them and then head over to the drill press to remove material. So now I had some difficulty drilling some of the holes in the tang, mostly the weight reduction holes, and that's due to having uh, dull drill bits and the fact that I probably didn't fully get the file annealed because I only did one annealment cycle. So I'll go ahead and move on for now and address that later. Now to help make it easy to mark out my grind lines, I will grind all of the edges parallel to the length of the blade. And like I said, this just makes it easier for me to scribe the lines down these edges. Now I'll reduce more of the weight in the tang by adding a fuller to both sides of the tang. Now I'll coat the edges in layout fluid and then use a drill bit to scribe the bevel lines. Now I'm going to rough in all my bevels using the work rest as a guide. Um, in this instance, the work rest really makes it easy because the back of the knife is straight. So I basically can just drag the knife straight across the work rest and it will create a straight bevel. Now since I couldn't get all the weight reduction holes drilled, I'm going to use my angle grinder to uh, put a slot in the middle of the tang and this will reduce some of the weight there. Now I'm going to repeat all the steps I did on the knife, but I'm going to do them to the mini pry bar. So here's where we're at. The reason that they're dark is I've gone ahead and put them through normalization cycles. So now they're ready for heat treat. Now I don't know exactly what carbon steel this file is, but I do know that it's a pretty standard carbon steel, especially because I know that it annealed pretty simply. So I know that if I bring it up to critical or non-magnetic and quench it, I should get a nice hard blade. Mm -hmm. 
Sure enough, all the steel hardened nicely. So now I'm going to put them in for two temper cycles of two hours a piece at 400 degrees. After that, I will get back out here and I will start cleaning up the knife and the pry bar and I'll finish grinding all the bevels and get them ready for scales. So here they are, ready for acid bath and stone washing. I actually like the way they look and would leave them this way, but I think that in between all of the file grooves, you'd get a lot of rusting, um, and it'd be hard to clean that up. So I'll probably uh, stone wash these, and then I may bring all of the flats back to satin because those are a bit more easy to take care of. For the handle material, I'll be using an ironwood with some brass liners, or at least I thought. Well, that glue up didn't go exactly as planned. Um, there's some things I probably could have done better, maybe adding like a little, some fullers or something in the handle material, like a place for the epoxy to go. And I'm thinking, obviously when I was working on them, I probably overheated them a bit, um, but clearly they didn't adhere very well. I'm just gonna move on and go ahead with the ironwood and just forget the liners. So now it's time to do the glue up. I'll be using West Systems G-Flex Epoxy and then I will be applying it to all the pieces. Obviously I cleaned all these pieces with acetone before doing the glue up, and then I will spread everything all over everything, including the pins, and I will clamp it together. So here's the final result of the glue up. I'm gonna go ahead and grind these pins off and then shape this scales. Once I'm finished shaping the handle, I'll go ahead and hand sand it and then I'll take it over to the buffing wheel to polish it up. Now I'll go ahead and grind in the secondary bevel and then I'll finish sharpening it up. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. And if you want to be notified when I upload new videos, please consider hitting the notification bell. The one last thing that I'd like to point out is that I changed the shape of the handle scales. I actually added a taper into it and you'll see it here in a second. 
I wasn't like perfectly happy with how the scales look, so I decided to make that change, and I think it gave it a bit more of a sleek, nice look for the scale. As always, guys, thanks for watching.